what have been the major developments in the field really, I would think that in my estimation it's the methodology that has been used. If you look at um, recent contributions, and uh, in the lounge you will find one of my survey papers, fairly recent, uh, that start from the very beginning in the early 1970s and ends, well, pretty much now, uh, you will find that the early contributions are mostly uh, location, traditional location models, meaning they uh, minimize cost. I mean, I've done this myself, there's nothing wrong with that. But that alone will not do it because these are typically strategic problems that require multiple objectives, uh, include fuzziness, include uh, uh, probabilities, things like that. So you can't simply say, well, let's assume we know everything and then uh, let's optimize. That's one aspect, but that isn't necessarily it. So as far as methodology goes, certainly uh, throughout the last 10 years, you will notice that there has been this, this interplay between traditional optimization-based uh, location model and um, uh, multi-criteria decision modeling, multiple criteria. Uh, you know, fuzziness, and so forth, and so forth. Uh, that combination, and that has been used throughout. I think many authors have used techniques that I would not use, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the principle that, that um, uh, those two types of analyses have been put together, which I think is of great benefit to the field in that it will make them much more um, applicable to actual system, to actual modeling, uh, not just, uh, you know, nice thought and, uh, yeah, I have some real numbers, but nobody's ever going to use it, which is most applications, if you will. Okay, so this, to me, has been uh, uh, one of the main benefits of all of this work that uh, has been done over the last, say, 40 years, just, you know, for the lack of a of an exact date and um, the question is uh, how has anyone benefited well in in many ways I mean as far as location goes I don't know chicken or egg was it the optimization that got uh, from the many 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 local dumps where everybody uh, junked his stuff uh, uncontrolled uh, environmentally not very friendly at all because it's just rotting there diseases that, that all of that we don't want that so we have been getting from the many dumps to the few landfills well was it optimization that got us there to be honest with you I do not know uh, it was either uh, optimization that told people you should have uh, you know relatively few landfills and then coupled with a whole bunch of uh, transfer stations because that's a lot cheaper and your landfills are so far out that you really need to reload you know you can't afford those uh, 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 those expensive collection trucks and uh, drive them for hours on end I mean a collection truck if I'm not mistaken uh, with a driver is about 130,000 a year roughly okay just to make that point uh, so you can do a lot more when you have uh, uh, when you have some transfer stations compact appropriately and then, then send it out to the landfill, right? So um, uh, if optimization got that and uh, practitioners did that, or if planning engineers mm, just had this gut feeling, did it, and uh, you know optimization has, after the fact, validated it, that I don't know. But uh, that is one of the facts. That trend will, to a point, continue. There is, of course, a point beyond which you can't go. You can't have a, a province like New Brunswick with one landfill. That doesn't happen. Okay? You need a number of them. You need def uh, a number of regions and so forth. So uh, a lot of provinces and a lot of states have not yet gone through that exercise. They need to do that. That's one. Of course, on the other hand, we have systems. It's collection systems, it's recycling systems, specifically with recycling systems, it being a fairly new activity, shall we say. Uh, I think the system has to be really optimized and thought through because the way it is, it is really, really inefficient. Okay? Uh, it needs to be coupled, that is correct, it needs to be coupled with the, um, uh, with the landfills by themselves that's that's no doubt about that but just the way people return those 
what is recycled, how it is recycled. That has to be thought through, okay? Uh, that needs, again, uh, a lot of material science, engineering style uh, thoughts, not myself. It's not me, but I mean, there is, uh, there is a world beyond what I do. Thank God there is. Uh, so, uh, but th there is, there are lots of things to do still, okay? Uh, one other thing, waste to energy facilities. We just had one installed, as far as I know, uh, at the Frederick Landfill. So, uh, that's a good thing, okay? So, we can at least get or use some of that uh, landfill gas or whatnot, just rather than flaring it off and, yeah, well, it doesn't do any damage, fine, but why don't we use it to our benefit? Nothing wrong with that, right?